Hello everybody, Dr. Darok here, and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play Blightfall. Now on today's episode, we're going to do some exciting stuff, and the most exciting thing that we're going to do is go up here and unlock the uh, waypoint here on the Western Isles, and I'll probably go mining there, but actually I might wait until, uh, I might wait until after the episode to do the mining part, uh, because... I actually want to go and scout out another location, uh, which is the Arches down here, and possibly the Erie Island as well. So hopefully we're going to get all of that accomplished today. Uh, if not, I think I want the Erie Island before the Arches because um, I'm going to grab some Great Wood Tree on my way through the Magical Forest. I do believe if there's any there, although I didn't really, I don't think I saw any actually last time I was there. Um, also, I've got something special. I'm gonna upgrade some of my uh, some of my uh, Tinker's Construct tools that we've had since the very beginning here, including Chippy. I'm gonna give Chippy a little uh, a material upgrade, and uh, I'm also uh, while we're doing all of this, uh, I'm kind of creating some uh, Botania related things because in the last episode we finally found this day bloom, and um, I had to actually between episodes I had to go mining and find a little bit more gold. Uh, because I had some gold, but I didn't have very much. Um, but now I've got gold. Uh, uh, where, where, where did all my gold go? Okay, so now I've got some gold, and uh, I do have living wood over here. So before we before we uh, get moving, I actually want to uh, grab some of these things here, just like this. Actually, I put this brown petal back. I think I only need one or two. I mean, and I want to make a um, let's see, what's it called? A mana spreader. So let me get a spreader here. Uh, type in spreader and it works with any of these mystical petals and a gold ingot and six living wood each so uh, we're just gonna run over here I'm gonna make a couple of mana spreaders and we're gonna start filling this first little mana pool a little bit uh, while I'm upgrading the um, while I'm upgrading these uh, tools and hopefully before we leave I'll be able to upgrade my mana pool to a, a better mana pool oh yeah I'm also gonna need a couple more of these aren't I uh, let's just make a yellow and a blue sure why not why not let's do it this way this sounds like the best way in my opinion what happened to my stuff where'd it go oh there we go what in the world that was a little weird um anyways so yeah there we go um hey yes this is amazing i love watching that happen that is like my favorite thing in the world oh check it out that's so cool okay so anyways uh i've made some mana spreaders now i also need to make um, a, 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 a uh, wand of the forest, I think it's called. Yeah, so, um, and I should be able to make the, these with any two, um, a, any single two I want, basically. So, all I've got to do is make a couple of these living wood twigs, which actually, uh, I'm glad I just made some extra living wood, because otherwise I wouldn't have enough, uh, to make this happen. But, all I've got to do now is, uh, bust out the chopper, and get to the chopper and we're gonna um i you guys love that on the live stream so i'm gonna try and throw it into my videos every once in a while <laughs> um but yeah we're gonna go right ahead and uh just cut down all this living wood here and there we go i've got plenty now i'm gonna need uh three of these living wood twigs okay so that's one two three just like this okay and ta-da and we're gonna make uh one part yellow and one part blue Actually, let's switch those. There we go. That looks nice. I like that. I like the way that looks. Um, now, I had I have to make the wand of the forest really before I can proceed with Botania, but that's okay. No big deal. Um, really, it doesn't it doesn't hurt me or impede my progress in pretty much any way. So yeah, uh, let's just put those in there with the rest of the Botania stuff. Um, the petal apothecary is still pretty much useless. I don't have enough of these flowers to really make anything cool. Um, but yeah, uh, so. I'm going to grab these diluted mana pools also, and we are going to grab a mana spreader. I think I might only need one of these, so let's find out uh, for sure. Um, let's see here. Can I, can I, like, because uh, I know that these can connect from quite some distance, and I want, I want to make this, like, here. And uh, if I look at it with the, this, right, let's say I check these day blooms, it should tell me which item... It should highlight this somehow. I'm not sure not sure how this works, actually. This is a little bit weird to me. So let's go grab the let's go grab the Botania Lexica 
and see exactly how this works because I am slightly or Lexica Botania, whatever. Because uh, uh, last time I used uh, Botania uh, was a while ago, so it's a little bit, little bit uh, different these days, I'm sure, than it used to be. So let's look at the Mana Spreader. Um, It'll face one of the six basic directions. Holding shift right on it with a wand of the forest, one can orient it to the opposite of where it was clicked. It can be pointed to other blocks with a wand in bind mode. Okay, mana spreader, mana pool. Small internal buffer of mana nearby generating flowers. Buffer can be viewed by looking at a spreader with a wand of the forest. Okay, so yeah. Needs to get clicked with a wand to get accurate and adequate values. Um, holding a wand of the forest displays a beam which shows where the spreader is pointing at. I see that. Um, hovering it, hovering over it shows the target. The sparkle that's always shown is the point when mana loss starts to happen. If the target of the spreader is a block that can contain mana, no. I want to find out how things attach to the mana spreader. So, where is, yeah, crafting it. Oh, lord. Okay. So, um, uh, alright. Well, that doesn't, that didn't seem to answer my question. Because these day blooms, these nearby day blooms that are like right next to this mana spreader, should be like connecting to it and filling it, filling its internal buffer with mana. Okay, so I don't understand why that's not happening. That should be occurring right now. Like, that should be occurring. Um, guys, does, does anyone has, does anyone has helps for Ted Doctor? Um, I think, actually, I think I know what the problem is, and I think it is that I might have to pick up and replace all of these day blooms. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give that a shot. Uh, let's let's. But that's kind of a shame because I, I set them on the ground so that they would generate some mana. So if I place that day bloom back down now, yeah, it connects to the mana spreader. Whoops. Sorry. I was acting like a total noob there for a minute, and um, you know that happens to me sometimes. But no big deal. We're just gonna go ahead and knock off all these mana blooms here or uh, day blooms, and we're gonna uh, make sure they all connect. I do believe that they can connect from this far away, so I shouldn't have to worry about uh, them like not connecting. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Yeah, see, that that's feeding uh, mana into the mana spreader, which is actually filling up pretty well. So if I just grab a couple more day blooms here, like here and here, then I should have enough that I can... Okay, there we go. So now if I shift right-click with my wand of the forest, it'll switch it into bind mode. Um, which, if I take my mana spreader, right-click on the mana spreader, and then right-click on the mana pool? No. Wait, wait, I know how to do this. I know how to do this. I'm, I'm sure I know how to do this. There we go. Okay, so I did that. I could have just manually pointed the mana spreader, but I like doing it that way a little bit better. And, uh, now you can see that I'm actually starting to get some mana pool in here. So, there, er, mana in my mana pool. Now that I have some mana, I can actually take this black lotus and uh, also toss that in the mana pool, which basically fills it instantly because it's a diluted mana pool. Um, and yeah, I'm going to throw one of these diluted mana pools, uh, if I don't miss, I'm going to throw one in the into there and that will turn it into a regular mana pool. Okay, so how much is left in there? Okay, pr pretty pretty significant amount still in there. So let's just pitch a couple mana pools in there. And as you can see, um, so I, I think that's the only recipe I can use with the diluted mana pool. I'm not 100% sure though, which is unfortunate because it looks like the rest of the mana in this mana pool is basically going to be wasted. Um, but no big deal. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a regular mana pool here and shift right click and shift right click and now it's all going to go into that mana pool instead of the diluted one. Now the diluted one, like I said, I'm pretty sure that like if I go and look at the crafting recipes for things, right? Uh, this, let's see, recipes like this, if I do this, there's almost, there's like no recipes. I'm like 99% sure. If I check the Lexico Botania, it should tell me in like no uncertain terms. Um, and basically, uh, da da da, da da da, diluted mana pool, infusing a normal mana pool. Um, there should, it should tell me, it should, t it should say exactly what I'm looking for. Um, 
and isn't able to infuse items. Yeah, so uh, basically this is now more or less useless except for the creation of new mana pools, but that's okay. Uh, I'll just leave it there exactly where it is. And uh, whoops, I kind of kind of burnt that um, kind of burnt that diluted uh, or the the black lotus uh, without thinking about it. But no big deal. I'm I'm really totally 100% unconcerned about that. It's really not anything that bothers me. Anyways, we're gonna move on uh, now. And what that has green on it? Oh, because it's in bind mode. I see. Right. So yeah, all these day blooms should be putting like all their mana into this thing now, and I can come back to that shortly and uh, do some things. But I, one thing I want to do is maybe make a couple tiny potatoes because the tiny potato he believes in you. Uh, and let's see if I've got enough mana. I don't have enough mana in there yet. Uh, do I have enough mana now? No. Okay, no big deal. We'll come back and do the tiny potato some other time. That's no big deal. Um, okay, well, I guess uh, as much as I've really tried to delay it, <laughs> it's about time we head off to the Western Isles, the dangerous, dangerous Western Isles. But first, I've got one other thing that I want to do, and that is I've melted down some of the adamantine that I turned into bars and ingots earlier, and I'm going to create a tough rod out of adamantine first. And uh, this is the only tool I'm going to upgrade right now, but I've got a couple more ingots worth of adamantine still sitting in the smeltery there and uh, later I might uh, make some like regular tool rods but basically the adamantine tough rod actually has a higher durability than the bloodwood and it's pro I think it's I'm pretty sure that it's like the first material that I've uh, g uh, like gathered from anything that actually has a higher durability modifier and it also provides the reinforced two um, it, it provides reinforced two as well as having higher durability right than bloodwood uh, but I'll still be able to repair chippy using bloodwood so it's still very cheap to repair and still works just great um, but yeah that's that's what we're gonna do um, I'm also gonna take these mana pools and put them over here in this chest ta-da magic I know it's amazing right I'm, I'm just I'm just amazing today um, so uh, we went ahead and upgraded chippy now with reinforced two that means that uh, chippy is actually going to degrade uh, at a lower rate, so um, I should be able to last much, much longer on my mining trips with Chippy now, and uh, that is a good thing for everybody. I'm gonna put the weapons I have down here on my thingamajig, and uh, I've got torches and all that stuff that's fun, but uh, for the most part, I think we're ready to go. Um, I'm gonna bring some, I'm gonna bring the thumbometer with me just in case. I've got bloodwood, uh, just in case I need to like repair my tools or anything. Um, got my wooden wand for some reason. I don't really care about this stuff right now, um, so I would throw it in this chest, but it's kind of full right now, and I need to sort the things, but no big deal. I need to sort the things, guys. Anyways, uh, let's go, and we're gonna hit up the Taiga region, alright, and oh, great, this is gonna happen, which is just amazing. You know what? Forget this, anyways. Oh, by the way, I, I did a little bit of exploring off-camera uh, during my mining trip, and I managed to run into Biodome Delta, which is right next to the arches. So, uh, actually, I might get that uh, I might get that quest today. Not sure, though. We'll find out. We'll see. Either way, we're going to be doing a lot of scouting quests and things uh, in the coming episodes. So, uh, even if I don't get it today, I'll get it very soon. Uh, I know you guys have been telling me that you can get uh, Silverwood Saplings by uh, visiting the Arches, so I'm really excited about that. I just haven't done it yet, and uh, let's break this Crusted Taint because Crusted Taint is the worst. Ta-da! Okay, so um, I want to head out like this way and hop in the water like right here and then just swim straight over to here with my boat. Okay, so we're going to go slightly, like, we're going to go like northwest, basically. Hello, Tainted Pig. Oh, hello, Tainted Pig. Guess what? You're gonna die. I'm gonna kill you. You didn't even see me coming. Man, I am a sneaky MF'er, because I, I, like, it's it's not every day you get to sneak up on a Tainted Pig. Those things, usually, usually they are coming for you. Like, by the time, by the time you see them, they're already, like, headed straight for you. So, uh, yeah, pretty good, pretty good luck there. Ouch. Oh man, stupid Tainticle. I hate these things. Okay, well, I'm gonna kind of strafe around this guy and, like, go down this side of the mountain. Ouch, you sucker. 
Ouch, again. This is not, this is not pleasant, guys. Ugh. Everything about this is evil, but I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you and your friend. You silly pigs. You don't even know who you're messing with. Oh. Okay, let's go. Um, so, uh, pop this boat in Zevatas. Okay. And we're just going to go straight this way. Okay. And, uh, by the time that I get to the Western Isles, Alright, we should be able to, uh, why, why am I doing this voice? I don't know, do you guys like my funny voices? I, I, like, I feel like the funny voices are, like, a really important part of my channel, in all honesty, and that I should always do them. Oh, I can't. <laughs> hey, I discovered Machina by accidentally scanning my boat. Great. That is just fan friggity tastic Okay, so, the, that's up there. Uh, it's pretty far, actually. Can I hit my boat while I'm in it? And so it, like, okay, whatever. Fine. Boat, 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 come back into my inventory, boat. I love my boat. I want to keep my boat for later. Da, 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 da. Okay, so, um, now, I'm fairly certain that there's going to be some, like, really hateful, dangerous things in this general area. Um, so, I'm, I'm... I'm hoping that I'm pr well prepared for that, but you never know, I guess. So let's eat some pork chops. I, I did prepare some more food for today's trip. Uh, if I if I like pop open my lunchbox here, you'll see I made uh, a whole bunch of things that I haven't eaten very recently. So uh, I, I do have quite a bit of uh, saturation and things on me. Ouch. Okay, screw that. I'm going to get in the water down here where I can't be taint poisoned and uh hopefully yeah i'm going to i'm going to chill here for like just a few seconds maybe talk to you guys about random stuff while i wait for my um stuff to you know get good yes uh sorry about the bad words there not like naughty words or anything just like terrible at explaining things because for some reason this island and this volcano and crap makes me super nervous um, now do I have, like, a whole bunch of, like, dirt or anything that I can nerd pull with? No, not really. I don't want to nerd pull with wood, but I guess, I guess maybe I can. I mean, it won't hurt me, I hope. Um, but I could be wrong. So, we're back up to full health here. Let's just get going. Um, the, the thing I need is way up there. So let's do a jump, 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 do a jump. Okay, and I'm gonna start scaling the like side of this just like this super easy. Oh, yes. Love it. Okay, so uh, That worked out pretty well. Let's come up here some and oh great lava Let's kind of like stay away from that a little bit. How's that sound you guys down with staying away from the lava cuz like the lava makes me nervous I don't want to fall in it and die again like I've died a few times now and I really don't want to die anymore because uh, uh, I'm, I'm all out of excuses, right? So I can't get any of my points back after I die. Okay, yes, we're almost there. We're almost there. This, is, this has been very successful in very sh a very short period of time. Okay, so I have reached the top of this, and there's soul sand here. Cool. Soul sand is awesome. And uh, there I finished the quest for sure. I hit the spot. I, I'm like 99% confident of that and I unlocked the transporter beacon and I think I think that's gonna be all I do here for this episode and I think we're just gonna like continue on with more scouting quests what is this hello duskberry bush oh I found you you're the best duskberry bush that there is oh okay um I'm a little bit frightened about where I'm standing right now so let's kind of like come back down the hill a little bit. There's another duskberry bush, so that's pretty cool. Um, and if I recall, er, oh wait, oh that's a stingberry bush. Ah, neat. Okay, so those berries are uh, basically berries that are typically only found in the nether, uh, but so is a lot of the stuff that's in this general area. Maybe I'll just hop around a little bit and see if I can find anything cool. Whoa, there's a floating island. Yeah, actually, that's um that's something that I've got a quest to do. Uh, but it looks like it's quite a pain to get over there. I'm not really sure what the best way to do that is. And I think 
I might want to progress through Botania until I can get the flying equipment from Botania so I can do a little bit of flight. But then again, I'm not really sure if those have been disabled in this mod pack or not. So uh, if you guys know the answer to that, let me know in the comments section. And uh, yeah, I'll, I will I will forever consider you super useful. Um, let's hit this transporter beacon here. Go back to Biodome Alpha. All right, and uh, let's uh, open up the quest book. Let's see, Stingberry Bush, Duskberry Bush. So uh, if I look up Stingberry, then I should be able to see. Like I think it can be used for something. No, it it just it it just eats. Hardy morsel, little bit evil, hit like a truck. Um, I don't think that I want stingberries. Uh, I don't think I really want the dusk berries either. If I recall correctly, these berries are um, very, very rude. Uh, I can't turn that into anything. Visible night. Okay. Actually, if the dusk berry gives me night vision, I, I, I officially change my opinion on it, and I definitely want some. So... Maybe I'll put soul sand, like, right here or something. Is there glass? Yeah, there's glass outside there, right? Okay, good. So I'm going to put some soul sand right here and put these duskberry bush, that duskberry bush right there. Okay, still getting mana. Okay, good, good. I'm also going to put a soul sand over in this corner and place my stingberry bush here. Now, I think these bushes, no, they don't hurt. Okay. I was going to say, I think those bushes hurt you, but I'm totally wrong. Uh, I'm going to throw this soul sand in here. I don't need it right now. And the spruce sapling, whatever. I'll throw it in there. I don't need that right now either. And um, eat this last pork chop. No, I can't yet, but that's okay. We're just going to move on and go, uh, let's see. I'm going to head over to Biodome Delta real quick. And we're gonna uh, like we're gonna check this out. So this is pretty cool. Biodome Delta. There's not much going on here, honestly. It looks bland as heck. It's just like hardened clay and things. And I just kind of stumbled upon this because uh, I was underground digging around. And hello there. Can you hit me? Nope. Good. Anyway, I was underground digging around, and uh, I decided that I was gonna dig over to Orcash Two here. Um, however, around the place that I found Orcash 2, I also found an underground, um, found an underground, uh, uh, abandoned mine. So I didn't really like that, and I started digging up, and I wound up, uh, just, like, hitting the surface of the water, after a little bit of drowning damage, of course. <laughs> I almost, I almost died, actually, of drowning, but that's okay, because I didn't. So I got back up, I got back up this way, and, um... Uh, I kind of just swam to the shore, and I was like, hey, check it out. That's a biodome. So I decided to come in here, and, uh, yeah, what in the world? Okay, yeah, there's some blocks here that I broke earlier that are um, tr that we're trying to, like, get free for some reason. So I'm going to put this dirt back. That way it's easier to get back in here. And uh, let's just get in the water over here, why don't we? Hello, sheep. How are you doing? I'm gonna go past you. You're scared of the water for some reason, so I'm not even worried. Wow, these arches are beautiful. Um, and I didn't really take any time. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is cute. There's a little pirate ship here. This is just, oh, this is just uh, quaint and lovely. How, how, how incredible is this? Silver bell planks. Silver bells. But actually, the cool part about the silver bell planks is I was... I was looking for those earlier. Well, sort of. Um, I'm going to harvest some of these, probably, and, like, uh, turn them into, you know, um, some, like, cool uh, bibliocraft things. So, what is this? Paving stone of warding? Uh, is it... So, can I get in? Can I go in there? Yes? Okay. So, that's strange. Amaranth desk. Oh, there's a chest, and it does indeed have silverwood saplings, like so many of you guys said. Uh, so I've got some silverwood saplings. We can grow some silverwood. I've also got a grass block, which is kind of cool, um, but whatever. Uh, it's not that cool. What is this? Untranslated journal scrap. Okay, so that's something I want to keep my keep a hold of. There's also a bed here. If I wanted to, I could make this like a home away from home, couldn't I? Uh, but I don't want to because this place is kind of lame. So what about? Can I can I mine this? This paving stone of warding? Yes, I can. And it goes straight to the bottom of the ocean here. Yay. Uh, da, 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 go back up, go back up, go back up, go back up, go back up. 
And I can't get back into the boat. <sighs> All right, so let's just go back around. Break this dirt. Okay, there we go. Boom. Dirt broke. Okay, and now I'm going to hop up and do the same thing I did before already. Can I do anything with this? Like, turn it back into wool by chance, like with eight of them? Yes, I can. Well, that's cool, but kind of not worth the time, honestly. Uh, found another silverwood tree, so I can... Hello, there's a whole bunch of emerald just chilling right here in the side of the freaking... Oh, wow, that's super cool. There's more emerald up there, I think, if I'm seeing correctly. Um, and I, I, I'm, like, watching the taint spread. Uh, so you know this place is relatively untouched. I haven't, I haven't even been, like... I haven't had this chunk loaded long enough for... Transport to tiny ship. I haven't even had the chunk loaded long enough for taint to, like, be able to spread any further. Okay, so now I know how to make um, silverwood saplings using Thaumcraft, uh, but it's still a little bit beyond my reach because I still haven't, like, uh, done all the things required in order to uh, be able to... Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. I haven't, I haven't unlocked uh, Arcane Infusion yet, right? So I, can't, I just can't do anything with it. Uh, or, or I can't make the silverwood sapling. Um, oh, there's also a bunch of other things that I can't quite unlock yet. Wow, I have a I have a scroll bar now. Awesome. That is just something else. Okay, so we're gonna go to the giant silverwood, um, and hopefully, uh, you know what? It's night, so we're gonna go back to Biodome de Alfarge, and uh, I'm gonna hit the sack here, and we're gonna go back. Da 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 da. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're gonna go to the giant silverwood. Hopefully, I, I, I'm gonna try. Do I have my boat? Yes, I have my boat. 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 Do I have, do I have a hoe? No, I don't have boats and hoes. Darn. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'm gonna find, cause this is a, a magical forest. So, ouch, stupid tentacle. You suck, ow. Ow, that hurt. Okay, die, sheep, die, die, sheep, die, die, sheep, die, die, sheep, die. Um, that looks like a great wood tree. Way over there. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So, I'm gonna also cut down this silver wood. Boom. Chakalaka. And, uh, yeah, hopefully that's gonna provide me some cool stuff. Hey, neat. There's a whole bunch of stuff there that... Oh, yeah, I love how this stuff, like, moves around and crap. It's actually super annoying, so I'm lying. I don't love that, uh, but that's okay. There we go. I've got a whole bunch of free silver wood because I didn't want that tree to get ruined anyway. Um, let's head over here to the great wood tree so I can make a cool wand someday. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, come on, you stinker. You little sheep. You little taint sheep. Die, taint sheep, die. Oh, die, taint sheep, die. Do, 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 do the chopper. Do the chopper. Oh, come on now. Are you really gonna, you really gonna do me like that? Come on. Oh my gosh. That is a power cow. Wow. Holy smokes. I did not see that coming. I did not think I was gonna get that. Uh, beat up by a, something that came out of nowhere. I was not expecting... I... Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Lord. Okay. I'm gonna stand on the crusted taint. As terrible an idea as that is. Um, and let's see here. I want to open my lunchbox, eat, eat a food, so I'm well fed. And that way I have uh, maybe less problems. Um... And, oh, great, yes, it's so crusted, tainty up here that, like, there's all sorts of problems. Hopefully I can, like, beat some of these tree, w like, leaves down, maybe, and is that another, uh, like, great wood tree over there? I, did I just, like, pass that and not see it, or what? Was that there, like, a minute ago? I'm a little confused about that, but whatever. Um, is there, why is this stuff dripping? I didn't realize that crusted taint dripped when it was in the air. Uh, but now, now I've learned something today. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to plant this ethereal bloom right the, f right the frick here. That way, uh, it will purify this area. Yes, perfect. Brilliant. And a lot of this crusted taint, I do believe, is going to, like, turn into, like, um, what's it called? Uh, flux goo? 
if I if I remember correctly. So that's kind of unfortunate, but it's probably the best thing I can do over there, because otherwise that's going to turn into like a whole bunch of spawners and things. I'm glad I didn't blow up that spider thing on accident. Oh, hey, this great wood log is protected by the silverwood tree that's here. So that's, oh, this silverwood tree only, only has so much protection for itself even, goodness. Okay, Mr. Sheep, I know you're you're coming. You're coming to get me, but I'm going to kill you. So, ah, ha, 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 ha. Ma ha, ha. Okay. Um, and now it is time for me to cut down a silver wood or a great wood tree. Da, 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 da. Yes. Feel the rain of great wood. What? Oh, my gosh. That frightened me. <laughs> I totally jumped when this fell down from the sky. Um, so, yeah. Just, just being honest with you guys. Um, I totally jumped. It frightened me. Uh, great wood in here, great wood in here, and now I've got quite a, quite a, uh, quite an amount of great wood. I even have a great wood sapling! Booyah! Okay, now that is something that makes this all worthwhile, maybe, sort of, in a way. Oh, lord, there's flux goo up here that's just like, oh man, all these, all these leaves and things. I wish, you know, there's a mod that, like, accelerates, uh, leaf decay, and I really wish I had that mod. Can I get him without like being in range of anything yes i can you're dead you're so dead ha ha you died okay um give me that experience please thank you oh uh, look there's a taint swarm over here in the middle of this silverwood tree that's amazing everyone loves everyone loves when swarm spawners like take over the the most pure tree that is supposed to have the ability to like stop them uh-huh. Everyone loves that. Um, I'm being a smart aleck, if you if you couldn't tell. Um, let's see here. Did I get another great wood sapling? I did. Okay, so that's good for now. Um, I've got the ability to uh, recreate some more great wood. Hello, Earth Crystal Cluster. That's cool. I wanted. I, I want something like that. Let's do that. Okay, so here I go. Um, like out the south side of the border here, and we're gonna head over to Erie Island and get one last thing today. So, uh, here goes nothing. I hope that this is not, like, the most evil place I've ever been so far. I really hope that's not the case. Uh, oh, hey, there's Netherwart! Oh, thank goodness! I've been looking for Netherwart forever. Um, no, 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 you face this way, and I'll get out, and don't break on the thing. Don't break on the, like, uh, the, 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 the shore there, so I can pick you back up. And, uh, I've got to come this way a little bit, because I can't jump up that height. Hello? What is up with the lava? I'm confused right now. I don't know what's going on over there, but it looks pretty intimidating. Um, although, I did just come from the place with, like, the most lava in the whole world. So, it's not that intimidating looking, really. Um, I'm really not that worried about it. Uh, is this silverwood tree... This silverwood tree does not have a pure node, and this one does. So this silverwood tree, right after right after the sheep gets uh, what's coming to him, this silver. Oh, hello! I thought you were coming after me. Um, oh, there's a great wood tree and another silverwood tree over there that both look like they're uh, tainted and need my help. So hello, can I hit him? Thank you. Good. Okay. So this silverwood tree is coming down. Um, no questions asked here. Uh, perfect. Okay, good. And do I have a, uh, do I have like a, 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 um, what's it called? Do I have another, uh, uh, flower on me, an ethereal bloom that I can, I can sit there to keep that safe? No, of course I don't. That's okay. No big deal. We will, ouch. Oh, come on. I was just standing slightly in the wrong place. Please, like, why did you have to do that? Now this, though, this gets me. Like, why is this crusted taint, like, next to this pure node? Ouch! You stink! Ah! Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting that. Nobody expects the tainted sheep. Not even in Blightfall. Okay. Yes, yeah, so, remove the crusted taint. There's the silverwood core. Um, actually, I don't think I... I, I want to, like, hit this with my thumbometer. Cool! Awesome! Okay, I like that. Uh, I also want to break this fibrous stuff here so it's not on my silverwood tree, which is just weird to me. Like, I wonder, like, is that just part of the world generation? And, oh, okay, now the lava thing makes more sense. 
Okay. Gotcha. Um, how close am I to my waypoint here? Oh, is the waypoint up on top of that? No. Is it? Is it? Wait. Edit. 142! Oh my gosh. Um, well guys, I'm not gonna finish, I'm not gonna get that one today. Oh lord! Who is that? What is he? I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that at all. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that at all. Do 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 do. But I do want these freaking nether warts. I'm gonna take these home with me. And uh, also the soul sand here. And that way I can start a nether wart farm and I can actually do some like potion making and things. And uh, yeah guys, I don't know. I think I might suicide or something. Um, I'm, I don't really wanna like walk all the way back to my place from here, but honestly, I don't think I'm gonna get to that waypoint either. And I don't want everything in the area turning tainted in the time that it takes me to like decide. So eh. Well, I guess I guess the alternative would be to like take a little trip on my boat. Take a little trip on my boat. Oh, oh. Take a little trip on my boat. Okay, so um let's decide here. Uh maybe I should go here. This looks like a place that there's a, a waypoint. I don't know for sure, but maybe there is. Uh why don't I check my quest book? Um I can turn some things in with the quest book, right? There we go. So open the quest book, go back. I, I, I decided not to do this yet, um, although I will get a machine bag for doing it. Uh, let's see, the scout. Two quests with unclaimed rewards. So I traveled to the arches, and I traveled to Volcano, and I gave up on, <laughs> I gave up on Erie Island for now, but I'll be back to it. Uh, travel to the spires, travel to the tundra. Where's the desert? Where's this desert area? I don't see the desert. Uh, travel to desert. There, there it is. One, three, three, seven. Oh, it's the Leet Waypoint. One three three seven nineteen twenty four seventy one. So one three three seven. What the? F I forget. Nineteen twenty four. One three three seven nineteen twenty four seventy one. One three three seven nineteen twenty four seventy one. One three three seven nineteen seventy four seventy one. Desert. Dessert. I'm gonna type dessert because it's funny. Um, and yeah, nineteen twenty four. Is that right? Did I get the right spot? I typed 1974, didn't I? 1924. Okay, yes. So that is the waypoint for the desert, and it is not very far at all from the shore. So what the heck is this? That looks pretty evil, um, but that's okay. Uh, I will check it out soon at some point. Um, but right now I have lots of great wood. I've got all sorts of cool things. And in the next episode, we're probably going to do a little bit of Thomcraft. Um, I'm going to make, uh, maybe a great wood log. So that way, uh, like, or a, I'm going to do the research for a great wood wand. Um, excuse me. Sorry. Do the research for a great wood wand, as well as doing the research for gold wand caps. And, uh, by doing, by doing those two things, right, I should, should be able to uh, make myself some of these silverwood potions, which I do believe are quite effective uh, from what I've been led to believe anyways. So, um, is that really that high up? No, it's down here. So I've just got to find a good place to get through, like here-ish. Hello, Mr. Pig. How are you doing today? I'm going to kill you if you get in my way. Um, well, goodbye, Mr. Boat. You just do that then. Fine. I don't have that much time. I've got to get done with this episode. <laughs> I'm like, I, I'm pretty sure I'm like way over on this episode, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, I like this grass block. That's pretty cool. Uh, haven't had one of those yet before. Hello, Mr. Pig. Ouch. Taint poison. Ouch. Taint poison. What is this? Raspberries. Did I lose him? Ah, oh, I shook him. Cool. Okay. So I'm gonna harvest these raspberry bushes. No, I want that. I'll put that back. You just you just go right back where you are and continue protecting this little area here. I like how this is like an oasis. That's pretty cool. Raspberries. Yes. I didn't get any any of those raspberries like for actual like use, but I'll plant the raspberry bushes back at my base and uh, yeah, that'll work. So desert spot unlocked, right? Beat the quest. Yes, beat the quest for the desert. Booyah. That unlocks two quests elsewhere, too. Although, I wonder what they are. Um, like, they're not in the supplier. They, they're they here, maybe? Oh my gosh, wow! What in the world? Let's see. 
Might be hard to find nether ores in nether rack. Luckily, the nether rack is full of trace amounts of the rare ones. If you get me enough nether rack, I should be able to enrich it into an ore. Nether ore bag. Oh, that's cool. That's a, a minus two mission outlook for turning in 200 nether rack. Are you kidding me right now? Um, let's see here. Uh huh. There should be some trace fragments. Wow. Okay. So there's a bunch of collect nether rack quests that I unlocked from going to the Hell Island. Um, this. Rubracium? I think that's probably under the desert. Yeah. Uh, glitters and is red like ruby. If you get me a sample, I'd be very grateful between heights in 10 and 35. Okay. So that's pretty cool. That's one... That's the, Is that the quest that I unlocked from the desert? I wasn't paying attention. Did it say one quest or two quests? Two quests. Okay, so there's another quest somewhere um, that is unlocked by me going into the desert, and I'm just not sure what it is. Uh, let's get this bone meal. Why not? Uh, what about the engineer, the black market? I still haven't unlocked the dark one. I'm not sure how to do that. I'm not sure if, like, what? Oh, yeah. The other thing unlocked by the desert must be this, right? I think so. I haven't done any of these yet, and uh, that's mostly because I I'm focused on progression of other things, and that is, like, the final thing in Blightfall is finishing up all of the, like, purification of everywhere. So, let's see, T transport to Desert Oasis is now unlocked. Let's head back to Biodome Alpha, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get ready to sign off the episode. But in the meantime, I'm going to plant these raspberry bushes and just talk to you guys about uh, random things. So tomorrow, or on tomorrow's episode, uh, you guys will be learning the winner of the, uh, the, the Name My Cutlass contest. Yar, mateys. So, um, basically... The, you should, um, uh, like, by the time you're watching this, now I haven't picked a winner yet at the time of recording this, but by the time you're watching this, I should definitely have picked a winner already, okay? So, um, we already know who's gonna win, well, I do anyway, but you don't. And, uh, neener, 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 I know and you don't, that, that, no, that's just a joke, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not like that, guys. Um... But yeah, so hopefully uh, you guys are super excited to find out uh, the name of the Cutlass and to see who suggested the winning name. And hopefully uh, you suggested a few, uh, like one great name yourself, obviously just one. Um, but hopefully between all of you, you suggested uh, quite a few names. And uh, I I'm, I'm sure that I have, have at this point enjoyed looking through them. Although technically at the time of recording this, I haven't looked through any of them. Um, I'm kind of waiting until the time runs out, uh, which is, um, you know, quite a while from now, technically speaking. Um, but yeah, so that's going to happen tomorrow. It's going to be the first thing in tomorrow's episode. So uh, I hope you guys are excited for that. And also in tomorrow's episode, uh, we're going to be uh, probably heading back to uh, the Western Isles and doing some uh, like gathering nether stuff. Um, I might try and get up to this floating island, but I'm really not sure if I'll do that yet. Uh, I died here from that evil guy who was attacking me with a bow and arrow which was annoying. Um, I, I've been thinking about going to some of these ore caches, but I just haven't yet. Um, I might make a trip from the desert over here to this biodome, uh, but really, I'm not sure what we're gonna do tomorrow yet. Uh, and I won't know. This, this mushroom island is covered in lava? Why? It's, that must be the most evil mushroom island ever. What are these? I can't figure out what in the world is going on with those large patches of stuff. There's another one over here. Are they like meteorites or something? I'm not sure. Don't don't spoil it for me. We'll go maybe explore one of those very soon. That looks like a pure area. Um, maybe that's... But this looks like where the silverwood tree is. I'm not really sure. I'm just kind of looking around the map. Guys, I hope you uh, aren't bothered by that or anything. So yeah, anyways... Um, it's been a great episode today. Uh, I had a lot of fun, and hopefully you don't mind the length, because I do believe that it's a little bit longer than normal. So uh, I am going to make some adamantine tool rods here, and I'm just going to stick them in my Tinker's Construct. Um, uh, I'm just going to stick them in my Tinker's Construct thing for now. Um, and maybe I'll use this as the tool rod for my, uh, for, for, for my cutlass. So, not sure yet, though. Uh, we'll have to wait until tomorrow to find out, because I did did intend to get some of those special nether ores before I uh, before the day of that, but looks like it's going to take a little bit of waiting 
uh, if I want to, and I'll have to upgrade it if I want that. So, um, but no worries. Uh, it, it should still be a great time. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today, and uh, I will catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye.